Hey, it's AK on here. I haven't made a video in some time. Um, got a little bit of a cold going on in uh, the, the time of April, which um, the sun decides to come out, and then you know it always it shit hits the fan, and then you start feeling ill. Um, anyway, um, today I thought I would um, start talking about the new Intel i7 um, and i5 Ivy Bridge processors that are meant to be released um, sometime in April. Um, basically, um, the the my research that I have I have found over the web over the um, past couple of months. Um, basically, the launch date of the Ivy Bridge processors was that Intel wanted to go for the the March and April time frame. Um, there's some recent rumours claiming that um, that May beginning of May um, could also be a, a start time for the releases. Um, Basically, um, th there's been a few things that have cropped up. Um, Diggy Times um, have basically relieved that, uh, sorry, revealed that uh, the Intel is actually planning to release its first Ivy Bridge chips on April the 8th, 2012. Um, now, this this was up to date until quite recently. Um, Basically, there's been a rumor that April the 29th is more sort of set in stone because um, one of um, the, co the companies that um, you know are meant to dispatch these bridges, uh, these Ivy chips, have kind of spilled the beans on that one, um, and a second batch of third generation core chips were were supposedly meant to arrive on June the 3rd, 2012. So. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I'm sure most of you that have obviously clicked on this video know quite a lot about the, the chips and what it's meant to do and stuff. Um, basically, it, the Ivy Bridge is the code name used for the 20, uh, the 22 nanometer die shrink of the um, current Sandy Bridge chips. Um, the features are kind of the same in terms of architecture, and um, they've just done a few tweaks and improvements, such as. Um, the new on die GPU that will come with a full DirectX 11 support as well as like around 30% more EUs than the Sandy Bridge. Um, apparently it's supposed to offer up to 60% faster performance than the current core CPUs. Um, that's what Intel have said, whether or not that's going to be true we'll find out after people start benchmarking and things. Um, the processor cores have also received some minor tweaks such as their AVX performance. Um, which was slightly increased and Intel um, has updated the integrated PCI Express controller um, to the 3.0 3 uh, standard as well finally. Um, now we hopefully when when they are released we'll see a sort of a, a bit of a demo on the, uh, the HD 4000 graphics core which is included in the core i7 3770K um, so at the moment it's looking that the April the 29th is probably a more sort of in stone date that the Intel um, Ivy Bridge um, CPUs are going to be launched on. Um, I wouldn't have thought beginning of April due to, you know, just rumours basically. Um, I would say end of April, beginning of May. Um, so yeah, um, also I'm looking forward to looking at the new motherboards and um, graphics cards that are going to be released from all the, the main competitors out there as well. Um, I myself have been dying to uh, do a, a computer update already, even though it hasn't <laughs> haven't even had this one for a year yet. Um, I just you know I got it and then realised Intel Ivy Bridge have been talked about quite a lot and. Um, I probably should have waited really, but um, yeah, wh when Ivy Bridge is released and the graphics cards start pumping out as well from the shelves, um, I would definitely be sort of investing in a, another build, um, perhaps selling my current one as well. Um, so yeah, any other questions guys, please let me know. Um, comment, rate, subscribe if um, you know you found this a little bit useful for yourself, and uh, have a good day. Cheers. Bye.